how to make a running animation in Ibis Pen X and Flipperclip. Before we begin, this is the third part of the tutorial video, aka the final part of the tutorial video. If you haven't watched part 1 or part 2 yet, please pause and watch them first. Because we only use 9 layers in this animation, so you have to use Flipperclip Premium. And now, let's get started. Let's open Flipperclip of our running animation project, go to layers and add 6 more layers. Once we've added 9 layers, add one more layer and rename it as Science Color Palette because I'm going to use my OC Cyan in this. After that, drag the layer to the bottom. Now I'm going to import the color palette in this layer. Alright, and let's go. Let's start by importing the body parts to frame 1. We'll add the head to layer 8. Now let's import the upper arms and the right thigh from frame 1 to layer 7. Next, we'll add the lower arms and knees to layer 6. Moving on to the legs, we'll add the left thigh and both legs to layer 5. We're almost done, let's add the body to layer 4. And lastly, we add the tail to layer 3. And there you have it! Frame 1 is now complete. Moving on to frame 3, let's start by importing the body to layer 4. Now let's move on to frame 4 and import the body to layer 8. Next, we'll copy the head from frame 1 to frame 3 in layer 9 and adjust its position according to the sketch. I'll fix the neck and color it with green. There you go. Let's move on to frame 2, then copy and paste the head again. We'll adjust it to the sketch. Okay, that looks good. Oops, um, wait, wait. Let me fix the head in frame 3 as well. I'll also fix the head in frame 2 while I'm at it. Now, I'll add some color to the neck. Alright, that's enough. Let's go back to frame 1, copy the body and paste it to frame 2 in layer 4. Move the body and reduce its opacity so that we can adjust it according to the sketch. Now adjust the head position again so that it fits with the body. I'll also fix the head's position in frame 3. And okay, that looks good. I'll increase the opacity now. Let's go to frame 1 and then to layer 7. Copy and paste the two upper arms and the right thigh to frame 2 in the same layer. Use the lasso tool to select the right thigh and rotate it to the right, adjusting it to fit the sketch. After that, erase a little bit of the thigh so that the jacket doesn't cover it. Next, draw a line on the bottom and connect the thigh to the bottom of the body. Now, let's move to layer 6 and back to frame 1. Copy and paste both forearms and both knees to frame 2 in the same layer. After that, move and Rotate both these to match the sketch, then widen the right near it. Now let's go back to the first frame and go to layer 5. Copy and paste it to frame 2 in the same layer. Then move the right shoe downwards and adjust it. Duplicate the right shoe and move it to the top left and flip it. Then delete the shoe on the floor. Now go to layer 6 and move the left knee upwards and flip it. And then go to layer 5 and move the left thigh to the upper left and flip it. Now let's adjust the hands. Go to layer 6 and move the left hand down and then tilt it to the right and reduce the size of the hand slightly. Next, move the right hand down. Then go to layer 7 and tilt the right upper arm and attach it to the elbow and shoulder. After that, attach the left upper arm to the shoulder and the left elbow. Reduce the opacity and delete the part that covers the body. Also delete the part on the elbow. Okay, all body parts in frame 2 have been attached. Let's go to frame 3. Copy the left hand from frame 1 and paste it to frame 3. Lower the hand and rotate it to the right, then reduce its size slightly. Next, we'll copy the adjusted hand to another layer so it doesn't cover the body. We'll also copy the right hand from frame 2 and paste it to frame 3. Lower the hand and rotate it to the left. Next, copy the upper arm from frame 2 and paste it into frame 3. Then lower it and rotate it to the left and attach it. Hmm, it looks a bit weird. Let me cut and paste it to layer 5. Okay, now I'll move the right arm to a higher layer. There we go. I'll tidy up the right hand now. Moving on to the legs, we'll copy the knees from frame 2 and paste them into frame 3. Then rotate the right knee to the left, then turn them a bit. After that, we'll copy the shoes from frame 2 and paste them into frame 3. Let's adjust the legs to match the sketch. I'm gonna delete the left knee because it won't be used, so we'll use the right knee instead. After that, copy the right knee and go to layer 5 and paste it there. Then rotate the knee to the right and move it up. 
Next, copy the right thigh for frame 1 and paste it into frame 3, rotate it to the right and attach it to the knee, then delete the parts that cover the body and fix the thigh. I'll turn off layer 5 so that layer 6 and 7 can be seen. I'm gonna continue finishing the right leg. After that, turn layer 5 back on. Now go to layer 5 and copy the right shoe, then paste it into layer 3 and rotate it to the right, then attach it below the left knee. After that, import the tail from frame 3 and attach it to the bottom area. Now we need to fix the neck. When it comes to processing the individual body parts of a character in Abyss Man X, it can be quite time consuming. However, when it comes to animating the character in Paperclip, it becomes much easier since you can simply move the parts around. Of course, there may still be some adjustments that need to be made, but the process is much faster overall. And there you have it. Let's copy frame 3 and paste it in front of frame 5. Delete frame 7 since it's no longer needed because frame 3 and 6 are the same. Mm, hold up, let me move the position of his right foot. Move it slightly to the right and turn it upwards like so. Then draw a line to the shoe and fill in the empty space with color. Next, we'll adjust the back knee and then the front knee and add a small triangle behind the knee. It looks like the shape of a baker says, but luckily it's only on the pants, not the leg. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, let's move on to finishing the left knee. Next, draw a line to the leg and fill it with blue color. Now, let's import the tail from frame 2. Here it is, and oh, it looks like I made a mistake here. The left leg is a little too high. So, we need to lower it to make the tail visible. We'll shorten the knee a bit and attach the legs together. And finally, lower the tail to complete the pose. Alright, that's enough. Next, let's copy the head and paste it into frame 4 layer 7. Copy the left thigh and feet from frame 1 and paste them into frame 4. And then copy both knees and both hands and paste them into frame 4 layer 7. After that, copy both upper arms and the right thigh and paste them into frame 4. Now let's swap and move both hands to match the sketch. Rotate the right arm upwards, then copy the right arm and paste it into layer 9. Oh uh, wait, there seems to be a mistake here. The upper right arm should be in layer 8. Uh, let me fix everything. Copy the drawing from layer 5 and paste it into layer 4, then delete the drawing in layer 5. Now copy another drawing from layer 6 and paste it into layer 5. After pasting, delete the drawing in layer 6, and do the same thing with layer 7 until layer 8 is empty. Once that's done, let's copy the right upper arm and... Oh no, the right arm is covering science chin in the same layer! No, what should I do? Oh well, there's no solution for this, so... I'll delete it and take another one from the previous frame. <laughs> Moving on, copy the right upper arm from frame 1 and paste it into frame 4. Move it forward and flip it. Oh wait, the hand should be in layer 8 and the upper arm should be in layer 9. After that, draw a line and fill the empty space with color. Now let's work on the left hand, make it smaller and match with the sketch. Copy the left upper arm from frame 1 and paste it into frame 4, then put it in layer 6. Also add a few lines and it's done. Now for the legs, copy and delete the right thigh, then move the left thigh to the left and paste the right thigh in layer 4. Next, lower the thigh a bit and erase a bit of the knee. Then move the left thigh to layer 5 so the leg switch places. The right leg becomes the left leg and vice versa. After that, adjust the legs, delete the front and back right knee and its lines and do the same thing with the left thigh. And finally, add the tail from frame 1. Whoops, wrong frame. Okay, that's good. Now just one more frame to go. Duplicate the head from frame 2 to frame 5. Then duplicate the body from frame 4 to frame 5 and make it a bit smaller and squeeze it. Next, duplicate the legs from frame 2 to frame 5. Move the left thigh to layer 5. Copy the right knee from frame 2 and paste it into frame 5 on layer 5. Move the left thigh to layer 6. Copy the right thigh from frame 2 and paste it into frame 5 on layer 5. 
and put the right eye on layer 5. I'll fix the left eye. Now duplicate the left knee from frame 2 to frame 5. Fill in the empty area with the color. Next, let's duplicate the tail from frame 2 to frame 5. After that, let's add the hands. Okay, we reuse the hands from frame 4. So duplicate the right hand from frame 4 to frame 5 and move it down. Then duplicate the right upper arm from frame 4 to frame 5 and rotate it downwards. Let me fix that. Next, duplicate the left hand from frame 4 to frame 5 and do the same thing with the left upper arm. Alright, everything is in place now. Let's add some whiskers and hoodie strings because Cyan is a cat. Make the whiskers go up and down. Next, make the hoodie strings bounce. Okay, let's check the animation. Excellent! Now let's turn off the ground layer and go to make movie. Then choose MP4 and render the video. Once it's rendered, you can watch it directly or check in your gallery. This is the final part of the tutorial and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. See you next time.